Hi guys, this is how the generic diesel sound sounded like in my Ural 4320 until now. The engine was always on. In the meantime I have added some new features to my code. For example start sounds and new in-engine sounds for the Ural 4320 and the Scania V8. The throttle zero position is now calibrated automatically. There are also some simulated gearbox shifting points. First I built this test system. It allowed me to do some software tests without disassembling the URL. This is how everything is connected. Details can be found on my GitHub. You can find the GitHub link in the video description. Here you can see what was changed. You can also see how to create new sound arrays. And of course we have a schematic and some pictures. And as you may know, I also have a lot of other stuff on GitHub. How to configure this thing? First select the start sound you want and then the idle sound you want. Depending on your ESC you may also want to change the span. The zero position is calibrated automatically. The maximum engine RPM can be calibrated using this variable. Gearbox shifting points can be adjusted here. This is the linear throttle input and this is the unlinear RPM output. I have also replaced the ESC with one from Dumbo RC. Its BEC voltage is 6 volts, so I had to add a diode. I also added 100 nanofarad capacitors between the motor housing and the terminals. The capacitor between the motor terminals was already existing, but it was not sufficient. Let's test it. These are the original Ural 4320 sounds. This is the new Dumbo RC ESC. And again the new noise suppression capacitors. They are very important. And as always, my DIY Arduino receiver. Of course you can use any other standard receiver. After the software tests on the test unit were complete, I uploaded the code to the URL unit. You can also use a USB to serial converter. First, I modified 3mm orange LEDs on the lathe. A little PCB is used to wire the three LEDs in parallel. The series resistor is 200 ohms. It doesn't look too bad, I think. Here is the roof back in place. The PCB is secured using some UV active glue. Here you can see how the wiring is routed. I also changed the receiver code. It allows to switch the LEDs on and off using the transmitter. This is the new receiver software version 3.2. It allows to change the behavior of the TX pin. Change these variables in your vehicle configuration to fit your needs. Works fine. Let's start the engine.
If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss upcoming episodes. Bye!